All right, it is Thursday and that means acting analysis. And today we're gonna to talk about ER because it's been a month and it's time for more John Carter and ER goodness. I'm still covering season one and it's going to be episode 16 and 20. And for some strange reason, they are kind of covering the same topic. As in, you have an acting piece and pretending this is your animation. You have an audio piece, you do lip sync, you do all that good stuff. And then the scene ends and technically you would stop animating and the shot will be done. But with those two examples and kind of an, an, an added example later, it kind of shows that once the audio is done, you can still continue with something with your character to kind of add one extra joke or a specific character trait or something quirky or serious, whatever it is. In this case, it's it's more on the funny side. And as always, if you wanna watch the whole thing, there is a link in the description for the whole sequence. So I'm gonna scrub through this here, but just quickly, she is a fortune teller. He is somewhat interested, but not really, that is John Carter, for those that don't know. And the thing that I liked, a couple of things here. So as she tells him, well, there's something that I need to tell you. I think our, our destiny together is not over yet. He goes, okay, and this is important how. I love his little head shake there, like, okay, and why that little, just a little shoulder shrug there. Is that bad? Boop, it's so good. And then as she tells him a bit more, he gets a bit more interested. And you can see there's a bit more of a tilt, the kind of a puppy tilt of being interested. So he has that here. And then as she tells him, well, come closer, which I think is a kind of a cute thing, how she gets lower with her head and come on, come on. I love this here. I love that he, how he comes closer. So basically he is sitting on something like this. this is a horrible drawing, but one of those rolling chairs, he sits on this with the rolling thingies. And I like that that usage of that prop, because it's not on screen. And of course, if you watch the sequence, you understand what he sits on. It's not, it's not something random. Like it just makes sense as you watch it. But as you animate, this could be something that your character sits on. It doesn't have to be even shown. Like I guess if you have maybe sound effects, but it could be something that if you if like this here, I'm sitting on here and I'm turning, I think if someone is doing something like this smoothly, I think it's pretty clear that it's a chair that swivels. So it's not far-fetched to understand, you know, like this is a chair with wheels. Anyway, it's a little prop thing that I like. But anyway, what I really like here is that, so as he continues and she tells him, well, there's something that continues and she says something about his friends and they're gonna destroy you. That's what weirds him out. So as she says that, like something is about to destroy you, you realize, oh, okay, and I love this look here. He just realizes, yep, that it's not really for me. I love that little weird, he has that little, okay, okay, it's like his mouth thing, something like he's going through his mind, okay, this is not good. But what I love is how he gets away from her. So, okay, I'm gonna get your charts. Then he gets up, and I love those little head darts. Boop, boop, just quick looks, and then if you get something, comes back. And I love this exit here. He wants to get out, stops, and goes, wait, that's kind of weird. Okay, I should kind of go. And what I love about this is that the scene is done. And technically you could just end your shot. If you do lip sync, usually that's where you would end. But why not? I would like you to think about this. If my shot is done, technically, because the audio is done, maybe you can add some ambient sound, something so it doesn't sound like there's a hard cut in the audio and it makes it kind of weird. So maybe you can continue with some ambient sound or whatever your scene is. But it is a chance for you to take ownership of your character. And I always like this where you're not so bound to the audio, you're not bound to the rhythm and the lip sync and just the content. Now that the scene is technically done, you can do whatever you want with it. You can add something to the character that kind of changes the whole scene or just adds to it. In his case, just kind of that pantomime comedic acting. I think that's kind of neat. And funny enough, it's kind of the same thing in this sequence. He is an older doctor, he had a heart attack and he realized that, well, now that his life is was almost over, he kind of rediscovers the joy of living and he wants to change his life because he was kind of a, he was not, he was kind of a jerk. So he's trying to be better, but at the same time, he's not really, because at this point he's trying to invite her and she keeps saying no and he doesn't take, he just doesn't take no for an answer. But the thing I want to point out is this. So as he says, well, maybe we should just talk about this later. She's finally happy. Like, yes, you finally, you get it. But he does and he goes, all right, well, maybe about dinner, eight o'clock and does this. Boom, 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 boom. Gets faster, faster, faster. That little smile there. She goes, ah, crap. And then so on. Now, the scene is technically done. So as he's done talking, it's basically around here, right? So as he finishes this line, 
Now, you could technically cut and the scene would be over. But what he does, he does that extra thing of, well, I'm done now. I'm done talking and I think I made my point and we're going to go out together and I'm happy. And just to kind of illustrate that, I'm going to put up the, the intensity and run faster. I think visually, it's a fun gag. Again, content wise. But as you look at this, he does that little ding, So if you ignore the content, just take that idea again where you can do something where technically the scene is done, but then you can add something. You can, in this case, emphasize that he's a jerk. So you can just dial that up. Or like in this older commercial, but it's the same thing where instead of just cutting out after he said what he said, he does that thing with the toothbrush and it's just kind of a accent on that exit, kind of a funny acting choice and just a way to end the scene. So if you have something like this, examine your character. Who is the character? The usual, like what happened before, what's gonna happen next, but what is the state of mind of the character? Is it a funny person? Is it kind of a coward? Is it kind of a, whatever character you wanna put in. And we're gonna talk about character actually in tomorrow's FNA. So just examine what that character is, what you created, and then you can go against character. You can go further with the character. So there's all those things that you could do that in your case, again, could showcase your acting choices, your sense of humor, your sense of timing, so that you're not bound to the audio anymore. So if you do animals that just do something with a human dialogue, so just you anthropomorphize that scene, you can just add something where it's a creature behavior. Maybe the lip sync is done and the creature that has done the kind of human acting goes back into something more creaturey. Could be a snake, tss, could be a cat licking, could be whatever it is, where it just, you showed your lip sync, you showed your acting, and now you can show, well, I know creatures. I can show something that's kind of cute and funny, that fits, that's in character, but it's kind of one more thing, my little stamp on the whole scene to show, well, this is my type of humor, my type of entertainment that I like, and so on and so on. So that's it for ER. I will bring another example next month to this screen. That's a weird thing. I got a ton of ER examples, so this is gonna continue for quite some time. I am on season five, I, th I think, still. So lots of examples, great stuff, more dramatic, more pantomime, more lip sync. If this was helpful, as always, like this. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave me a comment. I would love to know your thoughts about maybe you've seen this and you got other things in this episode that you like. Um, if you wanna see more, as always, of course, subscribe so you get all the notifications for all my uploads and if you watch the whole thing till the very end I appreciate your time and I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's FNA and that will be all about character so I will say see you tomorrow and again thank you for watching